Welcome to Bears in Excel. Today is Thursday, December 8th, and this is the market overview looking at the Dow, SPX, VIX, TNA, UUP, FXE, GLD, and SLV. So once again, another day on the road. So uh, sorry, no intraday comments. Tomorrow hopefully will be the last day on the road. <laughs> But uh, regardless, we still have the videos. And away we go. Starting off with the Dow. Last night we were saying, uh, it was very late last night, sorry about that. But last night we were saying that, uh, yes, the Dow had broken the top, both of these tops actually, and that the SPX had not. And that was uh, interesting. Uh, we were looking to see if we could get a break of the previous top, but it was looking poor for our thesis that a uh, bear raid, bear attack, taking us to the middle or the bottom of the uh, big candle was uh, becoming more and more unlikely. Well, today we had a nice move down. It uh, almost uh, resolved itself intraday had it uh, tested the 200-day moving average, but that did not happen. Um, Regardless, still very nice, still should have a test of the 200-day moving average, and if we do have a break there, then uh, our previous thesis may turn out to be correct, and uh, 11,800 roundabout, and uh, in the 11,600 roundabout. You see on the indicators that we are rolling over in the CCI, in the stochastics, 14-day RSI moving average actually leveling out after this huge run. Down tick on the RSI, down tick on the histogram, side tick on the MACD, and uh, so yes, unfortunately, even with this move today, this doesn't really prove that we are going to get the uh, 11800 target. Unbelievable. All right. Um, going to the 60 minute, we had talked about uh, having divergences. Certainly would appear that it's attempting to... Uh, resolve that. We had divergence essentially in everything. So remains to be seen how much farther it will go. We we're just expecting a down move and certainly uh, almost 200 points today that's a down move. But um, now to see if we can get the 14 day RSI all the way to the bottom and uh, complete the move. SPX also nasty. Rejection of the 200 day moving average busted out of the uh, below the uh, major price consensus level did not break the previous highs that we were looking for that is closing above them and uh, just like the Dow everything uh, rolling over very curious 14 day RSI moving average actually getting a tick up finally so um, that kind of puts a weird spin on things but it does look rather poor at the moment uh, we did get a down tick and it resolved intraday. We're going to have to see the middle Bollinger Band get above the short term moving averages and confirm a move down. If we do, then we should get the uh, this previous low tested. Although I am expecting the, the bear counterattack to fail somewhere in the vicinity of the uh, lower price consensus level, maybe just below it and then turn back up. But uh, we're going to have to see the VIX. We were noticing and noting that the VIX was going up along with the SPX, which does not make any sense. But we also said that the 14-day RSI moving average was still headed down, and it is right now still as well. So that's uh, very weird. Closed above the psychologically important uh, $30 mark today. Uptick on the CCI, the Stochastics, the RSI, the Histogram, and the MACD. And TNA, nice down move. I uh, hate to play when I'm on the road. I so badly wanted to uh, get some puts on this uh, a few days ago, but I've made a new rule not to take positions when I'm on the road because I lose money when I can't uh, keep after something. So, um, bummer, 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 bummer. Being on the road is costing me money. Down tick on the CCI, the stochastics, 14 day RSI moving average still pointing down. Down tick on the RSI, down tick on the histogram, down tick on the MACD, 
and uh, did have a downtick today with the short-term moving averages. It was resolved intraday. Now we need to see what happens with the uh, middle Bollinger Band. We did close below the lower price consensus level today and actually ran through the uh, major price consensus level. Very, very poor. Very, very bad looking. And moving right along to UUP, we should see this one get stronger if the uh, down move is to continue. And a green candle, nothing of real note. We do not have the cross of the middle Bollinger Band as of yet. But uptick in the CCI, 14-day um, RSI moving average still kind of hanging out, getting a turn on the stochastics up on the RSI, up on the histogram, up, I'm so sorry, sorry, side tick, <laughs> on the MACD. So uh, not too shabby and this does appear to be a bounce, a retest and bounce off of the long-term moving averages but we do not have clear separation at this moment. We need to see it spread out and then we'll know. FXE we had talked a few days ago about um, it looking like a failed bar retest certainly appears to be that way from the position and direction of the short term moving averages but we ended up with a little doji star indecision candle down tick on the cci down on the stochastics 14 day rsi moving average leveling out down tick on the rsi up tick i'm sorry down tick on the histogram down side tick on the macd wow i'm just so tongue tied today Nonetheless, not a great looking chart, not a terrible looking chart since uh, we do not have really good expansion in the short term moving averages and having them point down. GLD. Still nothing of note. We uh, have been talking about for a week, maybe actually a little bit longer than that, of the dangers of a double flat line. We still have nothing that changes that view. We are still essentially in a double flat line. Uh, down tick on the 14 day RSI moving average, down tick on the histogram, down tick on the histogram, side tick on the MACD, up tick on the RSI, down tick on the CCI, down tick on the stochastics. This is not pretty. I am not touching it. And uh, it has to break away. We have to have expansion of the moving averages. SLV. Looks like a breakdown from a bar retest, bar retest failure. We do not have a uh, good separation in the short term moving averages. We are below the major price consensus level. Down tick on the CCI, down tick on the stochastics, down tick on the 14 day RSI moving average, up tick on the RSI, and uh, just hanging out with the MACD and the, and the uh, MACD histogram. Certainly it looks like we can have more to the downside, but I would prefer to have some confirmation with the uh, expansion of the short-term moving averages. And there it is. I have not been able to keep up with the news coming out of Euroland. Um, so catch up on that tonight. But uh, regardless, hopefully we will have our bearish counterattack. I think that it will resolve in within a week. And so that thesis, I guess, is alive and well. Actually not, I guess. It is alive and well. It just is taking way more time than I initially thought it would. And uh, kind of a head fake do it being that it is attempted to break out and it slightly did on the Dow. And there you have it. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video are for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. Thank you.